A spring solver IK handle gives us the ability to move a joint system of more than three joints and have it bend in multiple places. It also allows us to control the degree of each bend to give us more precise and more natural movement. Whereas a biped leg only requires the use of a rotate plane solver, since it only bends at the knee, a quadruped leg, for example, has two bending points, since the ankle mostly functions as part of the leg. A spring solver IK gives us a workable solution. Now the first of these two videos will go into creating the IK handle, as well as setting up the adjustable bends of the joint system as it moves. The next video will cover some minor tweaking of the IK setup, so we will avoid a twisting issue with the master control icon. So we have a quadruped rig here. It's pretty much done, it's all bound. The only thing that's missing is the setup in the back legs. So before we can place the IK handle, we have to load the spring solver setup into Maya. Now by default, the spring solver IK isn't available. But with a little bit, just typing in one word of code, we can bring it in. So down in the Mel tab here, I'm just going to type in IK spring solver, semicolon, capital letters important, and that should be it. So when I load the IK handle tool, here it is, right here. And so now we'll place it by clicking the first joint and the fourth joint. All right, we already have a IK handle, pretty good movement already. Now I'm going to name this. So I'm gonna call this left back leg SS, because I like labeling that it is a spring solver IK. All right. And I'm going to parent it underneath the IK control. So now our IK icon moves that IK handle. And I'm also going to connect the pole vector. I've already made sure that the pole vector icon is in the correct position relative to the joints. So when I run a pole vector constraint, it should be working nicely. Now keep in mind, that how your joints are positioned will affect where the pull vector icon needs to be. If there is more bending in the ankle region than in the knee, or the joint system as a whole is leaning towards the back of the character, then the pull vector icon will need to be placed in the rear of the leg. There's not a good way to tell where it needs to be, so it may just be easier to connect the pull vector icon in the front and see if the leg flips 180 degrees. Then you'll know you'll need to place the icon in the back of the leg. So the basic IK handle setup is complete. Now we're going to create an additional setup so we can control the amount of bending in each part of the leg. So to start, I'm going to create an attribute. Let me delete that real quick. So I'm going to call this leg bend angle. I'm going to give it a max uh, minimum of 10, maximum of 10. There we go. So now I'm going to go into the IK handle settings in the attribute editor. And if I go under the IK solver attributes into the IK spring solver attributes, which should now load up since you are using a spring solver IK handle and down here I'm going to the spring angle bias. Now this section dictates how the leg is going to bend. You'll notice on this graph that there are two points. Each point represents a bend of the leg and depending on how we move each point will reflect how much the leg will favor the bend. Now by default, both points are set at 0.5, meaning both of these joints will bend about 50% as much as the leg needs. The advantage here is the position of these points can be controlled with a set-driven key. So I will use a set-driven key to move the position of these points between 1 and 0. 
I'm going to set it when the attribute is at its minimum. The first point is at 1, and the second point is at 0, and vice versa when the attribute is at its max. Now, Maya 2016 has an issue where when I try to pull up the set driven key window, Maya throws me an error, saying that the there is nothing that matches the name for spring angle bias. So if I do set driven key, it pulls up the set driven key window, but you see down here we have an error saying we can't access the spring angle bias. Maya is looking for a different name, a different attribute name than the one that is actually there. The issue hasn't happened in older versions of Maya, and Maya 2017 doesn't seem to have this issue either. If your Maya doesn't get this error, then great. But if it does, you can always write the set driven key using the script editor and work around the issue. So if I pull up the script editor, I have the code already typed out. I'll leave it up so you guys, if you need to copy it or write it down, it's right here. So as you can see, I'm importing the PyMel, and this code is basically just designed to run a set driven key. And as you can see, it's moving the points of that spring angle bias graph that you see over here to the right. It's setting it at 0.5 when the attribute is at its default of 0. And then at 10, it has the points at 0 and 1. And then at positive 10, the values are flipped. And it just creates the set driven key. So I'm going to highlight this and run it. It helps have the PM in there. So select it, run it. OK, so now you see the graph has changed. And you see the points are at opposite ends. So now, if I move this control around, you see it's mostly bending at the knee and there's very little bend at the ankle. But if I move the attribute down, you can see now it's bending more at the ankle and less at the knee. And we're done. So now we can see I move the leg around and you can see how it bends. So with the setup almost done, the next video will go into some minor adjustments that need to be made in order to work properly with the master control icon.